Now, let us study the energy flow in an ecosystem. Energy is required to do work. The existence of the living world depends on the flow of energy and circulation of materials through the ecosystem. The fundamental and primary source of energy is the sun. We know that the energy coming from the sun is called solar energy. This energy reaches the earth by traveling through the atmosphere. About 57% of the solar energy gets absorbed and dissipated by and within the atmosphere and its layers itself. Approximately about 36% of this energy is spent in evaporation of water from rivers, lakes, streams, etc. About 8% of the solar energy reaches the plants and they absorb about 80 to 85% of it through their stomatal pores. Virtually, about 50% of the solar energy absorbed by the plants is used by them for the process of photosynthesis. Plants store this energy in their food in the form of potential or stored energy. From plants, this energy gets distributed to the other organisms of the ecosystem. This is the reason why plants are called producers and they represent the first tropic level in the ecosystem. An ecosystem comprises of four tropic levels namely the producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. In an ecosystem, the energy flows from producers to consumers. At every stage of the ecosystem, a huge quantity of potential energy gets released in the form of heat or thermal power. This occurs through processes like respiration and other such biological metabolisms and mechanisms of organisms that are present at the trophic level of the ecosystem.